Good morning and welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, I'm just up at the slats. Uh, I'm just videoing on my phone because I forgot the feckin' camera. Um, just throwing out a couple of bales of silage. Look, they have some left here, but I'm just throwing out a couple of bales while I'm here. Um, it's the bank holiday Monday now, so uh, first of April. I just want to say happy birthday to Dad. He's he's 84 today, so um, and still. Uh, still flying around so uh, we we'll would probably go out for a bit of dinner later on uh, so that's why I'm up want to get up here early uh, get this done a few things to do at home as well so um, probably in this video we'll probably be sorting out a few cast joes maybe to go to Carnew on Thursday because sheep and lambs cast joes and all are flying uh, because I'll be selling later in the year anyway I might as well just go with a few now with loud and I think there might be even two uh, ram lambs that there's problems with um, and we sort them out maybe probably that'll probably be the morning but I'll get it out in this video um, as I say I'm just a bit behind in video and again just fell behind and um, so we're going to going to be sorting them out maybe there's some missing tags I'm not sure we might have to tag them Um going to be ringing the scanner man today till we scan these cows hopefully this week we we'll get that footage and then I want to ring in the morning, which is Tuesday, uh, this is the bank holiday Monday, and see about the test. Uh, we really need to get these tested, and I want to get them away. The only thing is, I, I think that commercial heifer might, might have been a bull in today. Uh, I've seen her jumping there anyway. Um, if she is, she is. I won't be putting her back in calf or anything like that. I'll just be uh, I'll just I'll just sell her as a maiden heifer. As that That's the one that, when I done the... Um, Cycling uh, when I put the cedars in and done them with the receptol and the estimate uh, She actually was in calf and she aborted the calf. So like she has never had a calf She's a huge now that's to say if you bring her to the mart Maybe ages against her like I don't know what age she is now like she's three years plus You know for to, to go back in calf for a first calf or maybe people wouldn't want her and if, I I'd need to look up stars and things as well. I don't know what way the stars are So that's what we're at today uh, just getting these few bales out and then we'll head back home to the sheep shed. Just setting up some small gates on the gates here, the same over there going into the shed. Um, there's a bag of net there that I want to tidy up. Um, just going to be getting the owls and lambs from down the fields into the, into the yard here and then drawing them up to the hill. Um, Good day today, it's just a day or two on again. <coughs> um, so yeah, I need to get them all into the yard. Schooner's coming to give us a hand because we've a good bit to do. I'm gonna sort out some dry owls. Uh, gonna go to Carnew with them on Thursday. I think I said that earlier in the video. Um, so yeah, just, just sort of setting up, getting gates on gates so lambs don't get mixed because uh, these are good hardy lads, the first lambs that were born and they'll be trying to get through gates and everything so they would. So. I don't want them escaping. When I want when I get them here, I want to get them to the hill and not be running after fucking lambs. But look at we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's a cracking morning this morning. It's, it's supposed to be a good day today, but it rain again tonight. I think fine tomorrow, then rain again. It's just broken for the next ten days, so there's no sign of any let up on it. And I've stated before, like we're we're on fairly dry land here, and um the, the ground is sopping like we need to get slurry out and dung out and stuff and just uh, I don't know how other people are faring out down the country because like we're fairly dry and like um, there'd be a lot wetter down the country I, uh, it has to be a nightmare for them it's a nightmare for everybody nightmare for everybody so anyway we'll finish these setting up these gates and uh, we'll get the owls in Uh, when I sort them here, I'm going to sort them and get them into that shed and then load them out of that shed there, I'd say, probably the handiest option. The way we the way we normally do when we're bringing other yows up to the hill. But as I say, like these are good hardy lads, so we just have to see how things go, because you know yourself with lambs. So, uh, just, just tying these gates up to, so they can't get through.
just to show you as well and going into the sheep shed <coughs> it's heartbreak and the heartbreak just still continues uh, Nadia always gone out now There's, they'll probably go tomorrow their dads but um, and they're all marked in there most of them but come down I came down yesterday at lunchtime to feed the lambs like I wouldn't be in the sheep shed as much now I wouldn't be in it all day uh, sort of coming and going all the time and I come down and uh, a yo had lambed these two and smothered both of them like smothered apps smothered the two of them there was another yo had lambed a single in the pen and she was taking that one and she must have laid down and lambed the two of these and the sheep was over the head and 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 was too too interested in other lamb and never got up to lick these and to like I tell you one thing I definitely am a broken man and broke now I, I I can't wait to get rid of all these livestock now I really can't wait because they've been breaking my heart for a long time but I I'm glad I've come to the decision now that they're going they've just been breaking my heart for so long so um. This is all I have left to lamb. There's only about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten. I have ten there. That's all now. They need a bed today as well. And then all this old silage needs to be stripped out. And they need a new bale of silage as well. That'll we'll be doing all that. We want to try and move these yows anyway now if we can. Schooner just rang me there, he's on the way. But, but wouldn't that break your heart? Wouldn't that absolutely break your heart? Two 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 powerful lambs, look, and just the skin over his head. And and that lad was the same. Like, how could you win? How could you win? You just couldn't win, you know? Um, and I, I've even seen that happening when, when I've been in the shed. It's happened to me when I've been fecking in the shed, you know, so. But you couldn't, you can't live with them. You can't, you can't live with them. Uh, we'll show you the pet pen as well. We've a good few pets. And um, we want to sort out some dry yows, as I said, and there's a yo in there that has no milk that we're feeding lambs, so they may go to the pet pen as well. But maybe I'll make two pet pens because, um, a lot of lambs in the one pen that could actually smother one another uh, huddling at night. I've seen that happening before. He pipped that loo, that loo. Very handy, so maybe we're going to get hardship later on because they came in straight away, just came in straight away. So we're just going to divide a few off and get them into the shed there and then load them up. Some good, some decent lambs on this. These were the first ones, so they've done well. But uh, that's to say, I want to get them up there on better grass and uh, get a creep feed with them. Like look at them, some of them lambs, like the powerful lambs, but as, as I said before, these were these were the first ones lambs, you know, so back, 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 back. Oh. then a couple of dry ones, a couple of dry ones up here. So hopefully they can win now. That's just with one load anyway. Like, 
they're all dosed, I dosed them uh, when they were going out the first time, so uh, not the lambs now, the owls. <coughs> I will need to do the lambs and inject them for Hepdorak P now in a week or two actually to be honest. Um anything that's anything that's out. in we just paired a few feet uh, just putting them out where we took the owls from just that there's a lick of grass there no no ah, ah. pip you pip you pip pip ah pip come boy come boy come boy like down like down like down Like Getting the owls in this morning. I don't know whether you can see the feckin' track there. Uh, we actually damn near got stuck in the Jeep. It's unbelievable. Anyway, them lads will have a bit of a pick there for a while, a couple of weeks. One just get to bring the creep feed or a, or a truck down to give them a few nuts. They've got feck all nuts the whole winter, so I want to start feeding them now because they'll all be for sale later in the year. Uh, we picked two hoggets out of it to go with the owls to carnew on Thursday. One lad has a swell testicles and the other lad will just never make a ram. Maybe even some of them never will either. But I'm going to leave that. Only seven there to pick five out of for the show. So it's not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, just to say all those owl lads will be for sale as well. There's three there from Jalix. The Jalix flock. One's a three year old and two two year olds. Two hoggets was got last year. So anyone's interested, uh, there's one lad interested already, so he has first pick. If anyone else interested, let Just, uh, we got a couple of yows out of the field as well, up up at the hill. Um, so there, I think there's 14 there now, and then two rams. But I didn't get it videoed because all my batteries are dead. I even had, um, I even two spare batteries with me and they're all dead. Look, uh, for the GoPro. So I'm on the phone now. Um, so yeah, we're going to finish off this video now and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and we will see you at the next one.